missing an insane vacuum leak on that motor. Um, don't know what it is. Whistles like a turbo. Doesn't have a turbo. Uh, and it's not a diesel. So, all right, let's fire it up. See, show you what I mean. Fire it up, and you'll be able to hear it. Hopefully, let's see. Can you hear that already? That whistle. It's there, constant all the way. Doesn't matter if it's in gear or not. So, <clears throat> let's see if we can find it. Okay, I agree to a smoke test. So, pulled off the airbox. Uh, used a rubber glove for that. Um, we're going to tie into here, which goes into the valve cover, which should back through everything. Use both the ports. Um, and we're going to look in that area, because that's where I feel it's at. And don't mind all the liquid. That would be one of these lovely radiator hoses that exploded about a day ago. So, you know. so we got this guy on, filled with baby oil. It's probably the biggest. I don't know. I got it on Amazon. It's not great. But anyways, the idea, if you connect the battery cables and we'll switch on, it's supposed to heat up air pressure. Let's smoke from out of here. And we're going to jam it on this guy here right after we get some smoke rolling. All right. Smoke's coming out now. So we're going to stick it in there and see what we got. Just one hand. Alright. And now the waiting game begins. See, the glove's starting to expand. It tells me it's building up air pressure in there. And so if there's a place for smoke to get out, you should start to see it here pretty soon. So let's just give it a second. Alright, so go up, get the glove back on. Uh, this guy? Yeah, always make sure this hose right there. You can hear air now. And then that's instant. So that's more like what we want. So let's see if we can. Oh, can't get over there. This? Can I imagine this thing is not great? There is so many other ways to do this. There. There. Lots of air. Alright, leak. Show yourself. Oh, oh, no, you don't. I just don't see it. Got two hands. Smell. Okay, smoke test yielded absolutely nothing that I can see. So I am at a loss, which means that wine, I hate to say it, but I think it's coming out of the transmission somehow. Or torque converter. No housing? I don't know. We're going to lift this up. We're going to put this back together. Um, put this stuff back on. We're going to lift it up. And <clears throat> there's two block out plates. Run the starter and on the other side, <clears throat> I think we're gonna pull it out and see if we can sneak a look in there and see if we see anything that looks well, looks bad. So, okay, <clears throat> we're gonna lift this up. So, we're gonna pull the uh, starter. So, we're gonna get rid of the juice because that's always exciting. Get this guy off of there. Oh, 
There we go. Put you down. I'm happy. There. Cool. Now let's lift it up. So I got this up in the lift. I was gonna pull the starter out, and I noticed that these bolts here and there on this junk it didn't quite have what I was looking for as far as thread showing. You can see that. Um, so we're going to put the battery cable back on, try and start it, see if that changed anything. Maybe it was just leaking out of here so bad, I don't see any exhaust anywhere, and it's kind of hard to reach your hand up in here when it's running, so see if you can feel it. But other than that, if that doesn't work, we're going to pull the starter out next, it should be two bolts here and some wires, and see what's going on in here. So, let's get that. So after doing some digging around and thinking, originally I thought it was coming from this area, but it's not. It's actually that way. So if you follow that, it's this pipe right here squealing. You're going to ask, why would that pipe squeal? Well, that's because now it's plugged. So we're going to pull this off of here and see how bad that is. See if the whistle went away by the looks of it. I think the cats are plugged. So that is inside the catalytic converter, which right there is where the whistling's coming from. So this guy is now laying through. This is plugged.
fixed. Now we're just gonna put it back together. Back together. Let's see what she sounds like. First run. I'm so excited. <laughs> If you're watching the video, you just saw me pull out and go for a test drive. That was actually a few days ago. The whistle is gone. Uh, the plugged cat, which we originally, you know, it took us a while to find, uh, that was the issue. However, we developed a rattle. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, and trying to find that rattle, let me show you exactly how the system is. I don't know if I went through this before. Uh, this system has one, two, three cats. And that one there was the one that was plugged. And originally I just thought, because we were going through a lot of stuff with this motor, um, the ECM had issues. I mean, it was it was running insanely rich. And we never really drove it that far to heat it up and cook that stuff out of there. I thought it was just plugged from, you know, gunk. Uh, I was wrong. Um, so the rattle showed up, and I got to looking underneath here, and the rattle, you know, Again, I went right to that guy, and I'm like, eh, no, and then sounded up here-ish, and the more I ran it, and then what happened was, this was plugged because this one exploded. So all the garbage here went that way, and the, the small stuff plugged this guy up, and we cleaned it all out. However, finally a piece got big enough that it broke off of that, probably rattled around in the exhaust, and it got stuck here, and it would just sit there and hum and vibrate bang away. Well, this is originally what it looked like. Uh, this is the material inside your catalytic converter. This is originally what it looked like, and it's just plugged, just full of junk. Of, I'm guessing other cat material from there. So, anyways, we got that off, took the exhaust back off, cleaned all that out, got all the loose particles out of there. I'm sure more will break off. There's still some there, but not much. Uh, and it's not throwing any engine codes, which is what we were going for another project I'm working on and we just can't have engine coats for that so it's probably running off of this cat solid I'm sure the sides running rich lean whatever but it isn't enough to make the uh, ECM complain yet so this exhaust well this truck actually came out of a barn um, it basically someone had worked on it abandoned it uh, they had cut the exhaust off because they told me that they were going to uh, put it on, well, the guy told me you don't need emissions on these trucks, and, well, I don't know if you bought a check law, you do. So, he cut the exhaust off, anyways, we bought this on eBay. It was the cheapest, cheapest stuff I could find, as far as cats go. So, what I'm getting at is, you get what you pay for. You can pay now, or you can pay later. You're going to pay. You pay your time or money, doesn't matter. I mean, you buy the cheap liquor, you're going to have a headache the next day. It's just how it goes. So, anyways, we got her back on the road. It's working, everything's running great. And uh, I guess stay tuned for the next project. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.